In this week's video, we're going to talk about the Duet 6HC and 6XD mainboards. The 6HC has built-in drivers to drive stepper motors, while the 6XD has uh, connections for external stepper drivers like this. So first we're going to talk about macros, like this one here. Then we're going to talk about the panel do. And then at the end, we're going to talk about connecting the 6XD to an external driver and powering it that way. Here's some sample macros uh, that I've made here. And here's an example. Okay, see, we want to be able to enable cold extrusion. So here we go enable cold extrusion. There we go. See, for some cases, you don't want to uh, want to do testing without always heating up your extruder. So here, I'm going to do disable, and then let's see. Nothing, right? Okay. So to make a macro, all you do is you get into your uh, Duet web control interface here. And then new file, then give it your name, whatever you want to call it, macro. Okay. We'll just leave this blank for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, here's an example of one I made. I'm going to edit file. So this one is. Enable cold extrusion. Here we go. Here we go. Right click. Edit file. Very simple here. M302P1. That's it. Save it. And then to run it, right click here. Run macro. Or on the panel do, just click here. Or touch here. Now it it only shows in alphabetical order the top four macros here. So to see all of them, click here. Let me see. There's more. There's the one we just made. So I'm running this panel do with this four wire connector right here on this end, and then this has to go into on the six HC board. This has to go into this top one. And here's the coloring, and you can see we have green, then red, then black, then blue. And it has to go in this top left, I think it's IO0, yeah, IO0 connector. So without this line here of G code, the panel do won't work. It'll just keep on saying connecting, connecting. So you need to put this in the config.g file. So we have the, this is the main board here, the 1.02, and uh, so this one can run 40 volts. My old one could only go up to, I think, like 30, but I got a 40 volt uh, power supply here. And uh, we got this big NEMA 34 stepper, and we're rocking and rolling. I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is a common thing you want to be able to do, test the extruder without having to you know heat everything up all the time so I'll show you inside another macro enable extrude at 500 uh, 500 millimeters high speed so here it is, just really simple, G1, E500, and then this is the speed. So uh, this is the amount in millimeters. You can do just 500 or put a minus in front of it to retract, and then turn this down, this number, to say 500 or whatever, in between um, 0 and 4800. Past 4800, I noticed it doesn't really increase the speed. One thing I noticed was to get this all working in the latest firmware uh, I had to select 
this, select the first tool on startup, and the extruder and everything, that's set up on T0. Otherwise, I was having an issue if the extruder was on T1. I'm going to include some links. Here's the configurator. Here's a bunch of links on macros. And I'll put all this in the description. To disable cold extrusion like this macro, P0 instead of P1. So that's disable. Um, I also thought something else was really interesting. If you go down to system and then you go to your um, various files down in here. All, all these are macros too for the most part. Um, go to home X for example. Edit file. What I did was I just commented out all these here and I just put in extrude and uh, for the for the extruder axis, the E axis, and sure enough go to home X here and it will extrude. Pretty neat. And then of course there's an error because X didn't actually move <laughs> to the home switch. Now one thing we can do is copy this line here from enable cold extrusion, close this, and put this into the configuration file. So we don't even really need this macro here. We can just paste it down here. Or I already have it, I'm just going to uncomment. Okay. Now for the panel do, you do have to activate it with this line here, this M575P1S1 baud rate 57600. And then save and restart the machine. Here is a TB6600 external stepper driver connected to the 6HD, I mean 6XD over here. Now a couple of interesting things to note. One thing is Duet often uses the uh, zero volts line to modulate. So they'll turn that off and on instead of five volts. Um, so what you have to do to get this to work, at least this is what I had to do, was move this jumper into this position. It was over in the right hand position here. But it's pretty clearly labeled. You want to, at least for my situation, move it into here for the active disable on driver enable polarity so besides that the wiring was pretty straightforward um, here's how I have it set up white here then brown then yellow then green it's all clearly labeled on the bottom of the board which is really nice so it goes 5 volts, then step, then direction, then enable, and then it even gives you an error and a uh, ground at the bottom, but we're not using that in this setup. So the 5 volt cable line comes in here, and then it's jumpered. We're going to jumper it over to here for the high end of the direction. Jump it over to here for the high end of the pulse. And then here you can see we ran our other cables for the negative end. And the 5 volt is just solid 5 volts, so we're, we're modulating, we're changing the low end with time and then current is going to flow through the LED. These are optically isolated inside the signals. So current's going to flow through the LED and that's going to create a little optical pulse which will be right inside of the driver and then it's going to tell it what to do inside in regard to moving the phases here. <laughs> so, jog it like so. It's also interesting to note that the I remember running into this a long time ago 
But the same goes the for the output, output one here. This is on the 6HC board. And I think probably most of the Duet outputs, they um, they change the zero volt line, not the higher of the voltage line. So it's like not changing 24 volts or 5 volts or whatever. It's changing the zero volt line with time, which is interesting. For the 6XD, I'm using this 24 volt power supply. It'll supply up to 14.6 amps, so it has plenty of power. I have this bigger drive set up, the DM860i. The setup is pretty much the same as last time. The white gets jumpered to the plus side, and then you have your direction, yellow, pulse, brown, and then enable green. So I'm setting this to 3200 pulses per rev, so off, off, on, on. So that's switch 5 and 6 and 7, 8. So you can see there. Off, off, on, on. And then 1, 2, 3. I'm setting it to max current here. So uh, 6 amps. These NEMA 34 motors generally can do that, but don't try that with something like a NEMA 23 or 17 because these are only meant to take like 2.8 amps, so this thing will be probably, it might, it'll probably catch fire, honestly, if you try to do 6 amps on this, because I've done 4 in this, 4 amps in this for a little bit before, and it gets really hot really quick. So, here it goes, here's a test. Thank you for watching. In next week's video, we're going to use a clamp setup here with a vice grip and a hook and some weights to make a simple horsepower measuring setup. Take care.